Hello everybody! Welcome to this tutorial video where we're taking a look at the Tableau Server REST API and we're focusing on groups this time around. So we're going to be creating a group for this Tableau online site, then we're going to add a user to that group, and we're going to query the details for that group. Uh, we'll also query the users that exist inside that group. And then finally, to close things out, we will uh, remove the user that we added. We'll remove that user from the group and then finally remove the group itself from the site. So that is a game plan and this video is in the Blitz format. So we're gonna to try to wrap this up in about five minutes. And if you want more details, more explanations, then check out the more detailed version of this exact same process, which is about twice as long, and that's going to be linked in the description. So let's take a quick look at the endpoints. Uh, these endpoint names, many of these will be referenced in this tutorial, and I'm not going to go through each one. That's, uh, check out the detailed video for that. But uh, just know that everything that we're doing here is based on the REST API reference, and if you click on any of those links, you can also see uh, some description of what's going on under the hood. So let's dive right into the code. And all of this that I'm doing here at the top, this is all covered in a getting started tutorial video, which is linked in the description. So if this is all new to you, go check that out. I'm basically establishing a Tableau server connection and then also importing this uh, querying functionality of the Tableau API lib library, which uh, returns me data in, uh, in the form of pandas data frames which is super useful. So for starters, let's just uh, use that querying functionality to get a data frame containing information about our groups. And that's going to show me all the groups currently existing on my site. And I would like to add uh, to this a new group called Individual Contributors Analysts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just using the, uh, the con.create group method. So uh, mirrors the, the REST API endpoints naming convention there. And all I need to do is pass in my group name. And I'm going to get this response that tells me, all right, we have a new group for you. And this is the group's ID. So for the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to reference that group ID. So I'm storing that here in this variable called new group ID. Moving right along, now we have a group, but it has no users in it. So let's go ahead and query my users on the site. And I have a booming site here, tons of people inside of it. So let's take one of them, this uh, the second user. And I've already stored that ID value down here under user ID to add. And now that we have our user ID that we'd like to add to the group, then I'm going to make use of the add user to group endpoint which in the Tableau API lib library has been implemented with the same name, add user to group. And what we need to provide here is the group ID for the group that we are adding a user to. And then we also need the user ID for the user who is being added to that group. So we have all that information already stored in variables that we already defined. So let's go ahead and send that information to the server. And the server just sends me back this response. And uh, if you don't get, you wouldn't get this if it wasn't successful. So. We know that that was successful. We could also verify it out here. If we go ahead and uh, refresh our group information for the site, we can see that that new group exists and it has one user inside of it. Great news. So now let's uh, use this from the querying section of the library, this uh, get group users data frame, which is really handy if you would like to query the users that exist inside of a group. Um, I use this a lot when I'm maybe copying, like maybe you have a use a scenario where you would like to copy all the users that exist in one group and uh, copy them into a new group, but then also add other uh, users to that group as well. So that's really useful here. We get all the users that exist inside a group and access to their IDs. So uh, that was, we're not actually going to do anything with that. That was just to show you you can easily get to that information. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove that user that we added. So. Uh, remove the user from the group, again using a, an endpoint that mirrors the REST API reference naming, and we pass in the group ID and the user ID relevant to the, the group and user that we would like to remove. So I get this response 204. You can read about that in the REST API reference if you'd like, but that means it was successful. And finally, I'm going to delete the group itself, 
which I just need to pass in the group ID to this delete group method. And again, a 204 response code means that was successful. And finally, I'm going to sign out from the server. And that just closes the session that we opened up at the top of the notebook. So if I hop back into my Tableau online site and I refresh this, we can see that now that group is gone, so I removed the user from the group, and then finally cleaned up after myself here and I removed the group itself. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial video, and if you want the more detailed version, do check that out. We'll publish that up in a couple days after we publish this one, and stay tuned for a lot more material covering what you can do with the Tableau server REST API reference. So, see you next time. Thanks.